contest is a lightweight bout to be fought over three three minute rounds. And our referee in charge is Jay Fairness. Introducing our first fighter, fighting out of the blue corner and representing SHS, Gary McMillan. And ladies and gentlemen, please welcome his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Representing SBG Max Lally. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I've been looking forward to this one. An amateur lightweight contest. Max Nally, the SBG Charleston man, 7 0, taking on Gary McMillan. He's in the blue to Tommy Shorts, represents the Scottish hit squad. Got lots of experience in this cage. Yep. 7 0 for. Lally 4-4-1 four, four, and one for McMillan. Oh. But Lally has been unstoppable in his amateur career. Oh my oh. days, and you can see why with that razor left on. A heavy nice. body kick. Four of those seven wins come by way of submission. Does like to choke his opponent out. Nice. But McMillan. Answering some questions now. Yeah. I mean, McMillan's not here to make up numbers. He's, he's throwing hard. Oh! Ooh. That was a big right hand. Beautiful shot. Looking, look to try and change the level, drop under, and force to back up and shy away from that huge uppercut that was thrown. Nice. Oh. Uh, I'm not sure these guys need a 24-foot cage. They seem <laughs> to be happy fighting in a phone booth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice knee up the middle for McMillan. Lally I'm liking how he's giving him different things to think about as well. You know, he's striking, then he'll go in for the wrestle. And mixed martial arts for a reason, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tried to just dig an uppercut in there, did McMillan, as Lally looks for the knee to the body. Lots of pressure coming from the Irishman. Oh, nice. And he's just keep going towards that underhook. Ah. Beautiful job by Lally getting him back to the cage there. Absolutely. Wants to keep McMillan with a lack of space, a lack of opportunity to throw. Yep. <clears throat> but good work. McMillan just sort Ooh. of bull rushes his way out. I mean, he's just stabbing in with that teep, Max Lally. It's either the straight left hand oh. or a teep. Oh, well, there I we did. go. Throws the combination. Yeah. <laughs> Looks over, has a bit of a, a laugh with Coach Owen Roddy there. I mean, you can you can see his experience in the cage. You know, he's, he's so comfortable in there, so confident as well. He's having fun, he's enjoying himself. He's mixing it all together nicely. Oh. McMillan, though, giving him, giving him reasons to think. Mm. It does seem to just ha be having a little fun in there, does Max Lally. Oh, oh beautiful trip. tie trip there. And now is he... Front headlock. Let's see where he goes to from here, though. Oh, what oh. a front headlock. Oh, oh, my gosh. No way. And that looks tight. That looks very tight. He's calling a shot in 10 seconds. Yeah. Nice. And he made it through. Wow. You could see how tight that was, though. Look how ready his head was when he and popped it, out. It was just kind of like Max was like, what, 20 seconds left? Yeah. All right. All I'll right. Throw the I'll off. try it. Wow. Lally's expression hasn't changed in the last four minutes. He looks like he's waiting for a bus. <laughs> I mean, he had. Both fighters put in, expended some energy in that round. Yeah. He's, he's even breathing heavy. Still breathing through the nose, calm as. Again, but once again, it. that's the experience showing. And again, two great camps being, you know, against international flavor here. Yeah. And, you know, we got the Scottish <laughs> and the Irish, yeah. a proper Celtic battle. 
Nice. Malali looks like he's coming out for the first. Yeah, 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 yeah. He looks fresh as. Nice, nice low kick. Oh, what a return. And then we get our phone booth fight for a moment, but this time it's Lally in underneath the hips. Nice wide base, though, from McMillan's going to make that takedown very... Oh, oh what do nice. I know? I was going to say it makes it very... <laughs> dip. No. No, no, Just no. Just muscle you. Oh, Jump straight on, your on back. the back. Body triangle locked in. Had to let it go. But he's going to nice. use that to ride to the mount, head yeah. and arm. I mean, this is this is what I'm saying though. Through the transitions, he's not really. He wasn't fussed about getting his back there. He just wanted to float over him and you know see where he went. It's, it's, it's really nice, man. He's he's not being stubborn on anything. And this is the the, the experience showing and like the quality of fire. Nice. And again, you think about the camp that he comes from. You know, Owen Roddy, Conor McGregor, economy of movement. Yeah. It's all. Yeah, it's showing itself here. Oh, but nice. He's been swept. Absolutely, but immediately has that foot on the hip, looking yeah, to create distance. He seems distance. comfortable in his guard. He seems as if he plays guard, and this isn't unfamiliar to him at all. He seemed, yeah, just as comfortable here as if he was standing in his yeah. corner. However, yeah, in the eyes of the judges, that's this is right. McMillan's winning this now. Except oh, not if he gets caught in a big old triangle. Yeah. I mean, he just throws these submission attempts up and out like there's nothing that can stop them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's got the confidence in them because you can just see he's drilled them so many times. Uh, yeah, I, he's got a lot oh, more time to wait. Mounted triangle, potentially, no. We kind of saw this in the first round, but he's got much more time to work. Yeah. He's a small, one minute is a long time to be in this position. Yeah, while he's, as long as McMillan keeps his body this way, though, yeah. it makes it harder to finish, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he oh and he takes the arm the arm. Switch into the... No, I don't think he'll get that. He needs to scramble. Lovely scramble, nice. but I'll Straight take back the, onto the back. With my hooks in, I'll let you roll mount. into me. I'll take the Beautiful. mount. Beautiful. And now I'll hit you. Nice. I mean, the transitions, he's just comfortable in every single position. Really nice. And Underneath he, the chin. I no. don't know. But it, it hardly looks like he expends energy yeah. to get yeah. to these positions very flowy yeah. very flowy oh i don't nice. think it's there no i think it'll survive tight, this i mean yeah, the only thing to... i'd like to see a bit more from lally is uh, perhaps a bit more striking you know from top you know a yeah. bit more ground and pound because you've got them you've got your man in the position you you might not get the finish here but if you soften him up a bit he's more likely to say right i don't want to be I here i'll give you enough. the choke yeah here we go here we go Get digging those shots nice. in, and again another another good round for the for the Irishman here. I mean, if you look at the body language of both fighters, McMillan's got his hands on his coach's shoulders. He, he looks he looks like he's done two hard yeah. rounds, whereas Lally looks like like you say, waiting for a bus. <laughs> no no danger at all. But by no means is um, McMillan out of this fight. When he lands, he's landing very heavy. He lands heavy, but. But it's just that he gets caught up in landing and trying to hit big. And then that, that's where he's getting either taken down or getting caught with something clean. Well, I keep, I look at fighters like Max Lally and then I start thinking about some of the British amateur like with George Staines, yeah. Curtis Campbell. Ooh. 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 The future is bright for yeah. UK, UK MMA, MMA for sure. Especially in the lightweight division. Oh my God, it's a bunch of animals. And you've even got recently turned up like Dennis Frimpong, Callum Connor. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, three minutes left to separate Max Lally, the SPG Charleston prospect in the green shorts, and the Scottish hit squads, Gary McMillan in the blue tatami, McGill digging a shot to the body there. Yeah. I like how he's mixing it up there. Nice. From McMillan, though, I'd like to see him walk left and just hold the centre. You see how, because he, he stayed there, he's, he's ended up with his back on the cage again. Oh, oh beautiful. Okay. Bit more head movement from Lally. Low kick. Nice. Nice. Big sprawl. Yeah, it goes for the single, trying to pull that knee into the body. Nice. Good. He needs to address pace. his head, though. 
either lift him up or push him down. I'd say here, start driving his chin up, make him look up at the ceiling and move your feet out to the walls you right. Right now, though, gets that grinding control. Yeah. Lots of pressure. Oh, nice. Oh. Good work from McMillan. Yeah, and again, trying find to find the knee to the body there. Oh, good hook. That's obviously McMillan's landed oh. some because Lally is starting to wear that yeah. bit of claret. Well, this is what I say when McMillan lands, he lands so heavy. But once again, he's putting his back to the cage. Yeah, he he's got a big 20, 24 foot cage to move around. Nice. And Lally, I, I, hap I Lally think happy to hold the center of the cage. Yeah. Because even small things like that, the judges see that. It's like, okay, right, well, you're controlling the pace of the fight. Oh, try to uppercut from last week. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think McMillan can miss with this right hand, though. If he just throws that right hand straight down the middle, because. Uh, Oh. oh, it's almost if Lally heard that one. Then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. Again, starting to land a little more at will as Gary McMillan. But oh, nice. Oh, oh big, big knee. Ate hey, a right hand oh. for his trouble, though. Oh, that one hurt. Oh, oh. Another big knee to the body, and now nice. looking to take the clinch I thought he was perhaps gonna look to drop down instead just happy to chip away with knees and McMillan does carry some power in there in their hands yeah turns him pressuring the Scottish hit squad man up against the cage now is Lally bleeding pretty freely from the nose yeah And maybe just a little of the swagger's been taken from the Irishman's yeah, step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, whichever way this this decision goes, I think McMillan's shown that he's not he's not here to make up numbers. He's no. shown that he's here to to win this fight, and you know he's, he's really really challenged him. Yeah. I mean, it's only a couple of fights, but it is a couple of fights more experienced than Lally. Yeah. Oh, and Ronnie, though, looking very happy with the yeah. with the work his man has done. And I mean, he, he definitely had a solid first two rounds. I think he did get a bit gas in the third, but not not to a bad extent at all. Is Max Lally going to stay undefeated? Judges have come to their decision. And Mr. Bobby Blundell is about to make his way into the cage. If he wins this, he'll move to 8-0. Okay. And that's why I'm starting to think about, you know, your your top UK lightweights. Yeah. Let's turn it over to Bobby Blundell, and he'll make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, can we please have a big round of applause for both of our fighters? After three rounds, we go to our judges' scorecards where we have a unanimous decision in favor of your winner and fighting out of the red corner, Max Lally. Ladies and gentlemen, we please have a big round of applause for Gary McMillan.